Anna Schulz. Yes. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's wonderful that uh, we have this chance to, to talk to you before you go back home from a long I'm working also day, yeah. rehearsals, uh, recording, and a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for <laughs> your effort for today. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> um, I'll tell the people about you a little bit, yeah, okay. and then uh, we can come back. Wonderful. So Anna uh, Schulz was born in Polsk. Polsk in Poland. Polsk yeah. in Poland, yeah. yeah. And sh uh, you graduated uh, with uh, distinction in 2007 in the class of Kosowska. Eva Kosowska, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, super. In uh, Poznan. In Poznan, yes, in yeah. Poland. And after working at the University of uh, uh, Arts in Berlin, mm -hmm. you moved to uh, the University of Music, Drama and uh, Media in Hanover. Yes. And you finished your study from here in this case or? Yes, I did um, study in Berlin and mm -hmm. then during these studies I changed for Hanover Music School. Okay. Uh, but I did um, a lot of uh, wonderful course courses in, in Berlin. I did the um, chamber music course with Artemis Quartet, which was like a very important part of my musical education. Uh, uh -huh, great. So now we are in Hanover. Yes. And uh, you started to play with uh, Flex Ensemble or? Yes, we met in Hanover. Oh. Um, we did um, a chamber music project together and it was lovely and we decided to... Oh, with Marta, I With think. Marta and Kana. Kana. Mm -hmm. So you are three. And there is a pianist as well. Pianist, okay. Yeah. <laughs> a boy. <laughs> Unfortunately, he can't play microtonal music. So he cannot play, that, so yeah. <laughs> otherwise he would be with us. Yes. Great. And uh, you received uh, with your ensemble many prizes, like uh, the International Chamber Music Prize uh, in Frankfurt and uh, Gianni uh, Bergamo Classical Music Award in 2015 uh, uh, in Logano. Mm -hmm. And you worked uh, freelancer as a free freelancer in German uh, Chamber Philharmonic Bremen. Yes, I did work in a few orchestras in, in Germany as a freelancer, yes. Great. But uh, mainly the chamber music uh, was m my ch choice of career from pretty early. And did you age. have an experience with uh, microtonal music? Or this is I mean, I did a bit. Uh, while I was studying in Berlin, I did. Uh, some contemporary solo pieces for viola, which had elements of microtonality. But I must say, I never went really deep with it. And m my teachers at that time were, I think, also not specialists for this kind of music. And they were just saying, OK, a bit higher, a bit lower. Just try. <laughs> <laughs> but you mean you are not uh, a specialist. Do you think uh, there is a specialist here in Europe? for microtonal music? And, uh, sp I don't know, but I'm sure there are people who uh, went deeper than just trying exactly. to do that. Yeah. But uh, you won't find methods, for example, to study microtonal music. Um, I or think it's, the, it's a training. Um, if you just do it and you really try hard and you listen a lot, exactly. I think you can, uh, you can get better in this. I mean, we had this experience now which already showed us that if you actually are into it and you are trying hard, then you start to listen. Of course, you lose it also very quickly if you don't do it. So I think yeah. the more time you spend on it and the more sincere you are about it, then yeah. it's getting better. Yeah. So do you think, for example, uh, it's important to have it in the curricula, in uh, uh, high institutes, conservatories? I mean, for sure, uh, but this is, I think, generally about the mu new music. There are people who take it seriously and there are people who say, oh, do just whatever. Exactly. And it's the same approach with the microtonality. I think you or take it seriously and you can really uh, learn how to do it mm -hmm. or you just take it as something extra and, and say bye to it <laughs> after a short period of time. But... Uh, I mean, we, we see how what is the d distinguished difference if it's made uh, b b b b great, like your guests are doing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just breathtaking. And us trying to do that is already a bit different, right? Uh, but this is normal, I think, because uh, until now, I you don't find it, for example, in um, as an education, in the education system, um, 
even I mean children they want to learn something about for example music in other countries so of course not and uh, it was very interesting also uh, our discussion uh, today after uh, recording your piece mm -hmm. We were talking about people who had, uh, um, uh, how do you call it, uh, to, who can hear absolute, absolutely, I, yeah. I don't know, absolute absolute hear. Yeah. So uh, uh, how they approach this and what does it mean that they hear absolute? Like, they actually, can they, it's <laughs> they, they just, r that means they actually learned it also in a very exactly. early age. And uh, they are just probably more disturbed by it, but um, it's just uh, it's just uh, the training, and we we know that. And it's for us this approach now um, to do that uh, took us already much farther a few days. So we are encouraged, yeah. let's say. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so you are. We're now no, not so much ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> we are not so much ashamed of what <laughs> we are doing anymore. And we can say that you are enthusiastic to learn more about microtones. Uh, <laughs> you can deeper. definitely, <laughs> you can definitely say that. Okay. I mean, I mean, it can sound really beautiful. Uh, yeah, but actually, in Poland, there are many composers uh, who are working with. Yeah, 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 that's true. For example, one of uh, the first, I think, it was Karol uh, 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 Shimanowski. Uh, yeah, the few elements I think there were. It was not like, but um, also because of our uh, uh, folk music and scale, um, the, the the scales he used uh, were coming from the mountains, er exactly. and th 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 how the sounds of the instrument sound. It's not really um, a pure uh, major minor tonality. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So he he definitely used this element. Yeah, and Penderecki used uh, 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 real microtones. <laughs> yeah, but I never, I played a lot of pieces by Penderecki in only in the 60s when he had this experiment. I don't want to say something wrong now <laughs> <laughs> okay. about the m uh, one of the greatest our composers who mm. uh, unfortunately died uh, last uh, in yeah. this year, this year. It's a pity, yeah. Mm. Um, so I don't want to say anything wrong, but I played his uh, second quartet and there was a lot um, happening. Mm -hmm. Um, then he, uh, when he got older, he came back and he composed very almost uh, classical pieces. Uh, I would you say. mean uh, you want you don't want to say something wrong? For example, uh, some composer would do something uh, dissonance. They want to do something dissonance. It's not because uh, they make it in a wrong way. No, so no, no, I just don't want to mix something. I, I just say from my experience because I don't know all of his pieces and exactly. might be that he did much he more composed. than that I know. Mm -hmm. um, I just know what I played and yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and when I yeah, heard, of course, in the concerts, but I never saw the score, for example. So yeah, no, it's clear. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, for me, uh, I think uh, microtones, uh, it's also, uh, you would have many co microtones. I mean, like harmonic microtones, yes, of which course. is uh, yeah, yeah. consonance, and uh, non-harmonic microtones, which is you hear in dissonance. Yeah, yeah. And the composers, in this case, or the composer, composer know uh, knows what his what's hi his aim. So in this case, he would uh, uh, direct himself like I would like to the people to listen to something dissonance, and I would like this kind of dissonance, not that kind of dissonance. Yes. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so in this case, uh, but you find that uh, um, it was more or less not so much dissonance for today and uh, the last days. Uh, no, no, I think the the the, the Most fun of composers they were working with harmony. I think yes, and uh, those dissonances which were there were kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I mean. Um, we are searching for those dissonance to get uh, naturally our our natural educations that you have those dissonance to get the consonance right so yeah. you're like <laughs> and then you can relax and this is the fun part <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but but the more you do the music the more you are like uh, like searching for those moments where the clashes and i think they are the most beautiful moments actually exactly. yeah exactly uh, but those composers yeah that was not really super crazy i would say but yeah. but but we we really enjoyed some of those pieces I think re really and we actually regret we didn't have so much time to go even deeper in those scores. Yeah, mm. perhaps uh, next time. If perhaps we next yeah. time. Yeah, 
I hope so also. So per perhaps if we say we will do something, actually our plan was to do something in Tunisian and yeah. uh, now we change it to Germany mm. because of Corona. Yes. So hopefully we have something next year in uh, hopefully an Arab world country. So uh, would you be enthusiast to be there? Or Absolutely. Sure? I mean, like I said. today from microtones. Absolutely. Like I said, w w the only thing is like if you go deeper, um, then you realize you can really go deep and then it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> it's for me, it's very fun. I mean, microtones for me, it's like uh, um, not just using 12 colors. Yeah. Can you imagine your mobile has just 12 colors? Now you won't buy a mobile without 15 million of colors. <laughs> so perhaps in the future you won't accept to play music without uh, at least 100 uh, tones in an octave. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully we are not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anna, thank you very much thank for you so much. today. And thank I you for the whole project. to work with you again. I mean, yes. it was very interesting and very fun to work with you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.